from Canada Box. This video will be showing you how to update your Maverick Mini. So first we're going to navigate over to the Maverick Mini website right here at the top you can see the address bar. What we're going to do is we want to select on the drone that you have in this case here, a Maverick Mini. So we'll select on that and we have the app for the phone which you can use if you'd like to, very straightforward, or the software for the computer. We're going to download the software for the computer and launch it. Now we want to make sure we sign in top right corner. And once we've signed in, what we'll do is we will turn on the drone and plug it in. And this USB indicator here that is shown, that is where once it's turned on and connected properly, you'll see that change. There it is right now. And we'll see your Mavic Mini. Click yes to any permissions you have to update. And now it's just loading. There we are. It's telling me already we have an update. So let's do the first update here. This is updating the uh, flight database. It's a nice quick one. And once that is done, it's update. It's pushing it to the actual drone. Again, you can do this through the app if you prefer. Not to worry. This is just the way to use the software instead. If you don't want to do it, do it on your cell phone, or you want to downgrade or upgrade, for example. That way you don't have to worry about connection issues and whatnot. And that is done. So it shows complete. Your drone will likely restart. And there is a drone has restarted and it's showing all complete. Now go back here and I'll reload it and now it shows up to date. Now that's the uh, that's the Flight data. Now this in terms is now we're going to actually update the software itself. It takes a little bit longer, so we'll click download here, install. If you want to downgrade or refresh, you quickly simply downgrade, click the downgrade or refresh button beside it, and choose which one you want to install. This is something you can't do on the app. You can't uh, downgrade or refresh installs. This is the only way to do it. We're just finishing up here, should be done in a moment or so. This is where again, you'll likely see the drone restart. And update is now showing complete there, 100%. Again, drone will restart. There it is, it's recognizing it's not connected because it's restarting. Now, if the drone is an update for the drone, there will likely be an update for the controller as well. So best to plug the controller in or the RC and uh, check on that too. And there you can see it is updated now. Okay, once we're in there, we're gonna update the controller. It should show here in a moment. There's the controller. So you can now see that with the update to the Maverick Mini, um, there was also updated the controller. So we will plug it in, click the update button. If you have any issues with these updates, always a good idea to do a refresh after um, or to downgrade instead. My controller found that uh, once I did an upgrade, it would beep and beep and beep and beep and beep forever. Um, figured out the issue was that upon an update, it resets the calibration. So of course you do calibration. It doesn't tell you this anywhere or Tell you what to do to stop the beeping. Um, so that was a bit of research, but it does fix it. So if you are getting a continuous beeping sound, lock your way, in, lock yourself in a far away room from nobody else, so they don't have to deal with it, and then recalibrate the controller. To do that, you'll just pop into the app. Uh, you have to connect only to the controller, and then go to the RC settings and calibrate. And there we go. That is now updated, and that is set. Any battery updates uh, will happen as you fly when you fly, but these ones can do manually. And the reason I like to do them manually really is just because you don't have to worry about battery issues or connection issues. If you have uh, your drone plugged in physically to your laptop, there's no worry about it dropping midway through an update or damaging your, damaging your drone. Plus it gives you extra features. Thanks for watching.